So two things that I think I remember about nose slides is you- So work's finally over and the goal for tonight is to relearn nose slide again for like the 80 millionth time. Why can't I set this camera down right? For like the 80 millionth time. But uh, first need a little bit of fruit punch flavored cancer, also known as pre-workout. Jim, you hear that echo? Hello? Hello. Is it, all right, cool, the wind has died down a little bit, but this is the ledge I'm gonna like work on trying to relearn nose slides again, but my legs are kind of cold, so I gotta warm up doing some flat ground and a couple ledge tricks that like the two that I can do because I lost all the rest of them. All right. Oh, that feels all right. I swear it's always windy here though. All right, Nolly. Uh. Do the same line, Ollie. Not oh, people. Uh. All right, so now I want to do some more nadies. Front 180. Yeah, that one was gross. All right, that's enough front 180s. Yeah, let's try to do a nollie back 180. I don't do that one super off. Ew, but it worked. All right. Relax. That's all I need to do. I'm getting too like nervous and messing everything up. See? I wouldn't say it was the best feeling one I've ever done. But it is at least good enough. Back 180. Push twice. Did you see that? What was that? I need to like straighten my back. I'm having my back hunched too far over and it's just not not being pretty. Back straight. Oh, missed the hip. Straight down. Oh. All right, watch this. It's gonna be popped super high and super pretty. There we go. I actually felt really good aside from being slow. Going against the wind. Slowing me down a little bit every second. Back 180, I back 180. Like a real back 180. Oh, that one was eh. But you know what? We can move on to pop shove it now. Push once, push twice, pull up, shove it. There we go. Oh, that one felt good. Fakey Ollie. Let's do that again. I'm trying to build up this repetition going faster. So skating over, down, and everything. We'll just be easier in general. Another fakey ollie. I'm getting winded. The kick flip. Windy. Did he kill flip maybe? Ah, that would be sick. Oh well. We'll just do a heel flip this way. Perfect heel flip, watch this. Do -do 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 -do. Ow, not perfect, but landed. I gotta stay centered. Ew, why are they all bad? There we go. That one's good. It's because I didn't turn my front foot. If I have my foot like flat like this, it doesn't like tweak out, but I have to turn it like this and it does. So it's finally time to start skating some ledges, but before I try the nose slide, I want to do a 50-50, fakey 50-50, backside 50-50, and maybe a 5-0. These ledges are taller than what I'm used to skating, so I'm not really sure how well that's gonna go or not. All right, fakey flip. Huh, not terrible, I guess. 50-50 first try. Ah, losing me bounds. Oh. All right, now backside 50-50, the little tiny curb. Because I'm not very good at them yet. It's a work in progress. 
Ah, I missed. <laughs> try another fifty flip. Oh, that one was better. Gonna try the same line, fifty fifty, back fifty. Let's try another regular fifty fifty. Gotta get these back. Unlock. You know, I should try to start like doing shoves out depending on how much longer this uh, back 50 is going to take me. I mean, I don't have to do that. I'm going to land it right here. I might try front shove out. That's quick. It's a really small ledge. If I actually want to be able to do it, I should probably go a tiny bit slower. But then again, I also need to work on getting my feet quicker too. All right, back 50. No, why, 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 why did I do that? Next try. Just once, just twice. 50, 50. Oh, I got scaled. All right, don't pop really high. That's why you're missing them. Relax. There we go. Much better, much better. I'll have to work on those later. So two things that I think I remember about nose slides is you want to pop farther away from the ledge than you think you should to be able to get into the actual nose slide. What I do all the time is I get into crooks instead accidentally. And the other thing that it used to help me was coming up at about a 45 degree angle because then you wouldn't have to turn as much to get into it. But it also kind of jolts your body up against the ledge and helps you get your uh, your weight on the nose a little bit easier. But let's see if any of this shit works. All right, let's see if those principles be the working so 45 degree angle ish so the ledge going that way i'm going probably a little slow for this but uh oh, that is slick so what exactly is a 45 angle to this ledge so it's going that way so a 45 degree angle might be something like this so let's just like start in the same spot right here and forget about the five out for a second and just try to get some nose slides in. Oh, I guess that was it. Let's try another nose slide. Just gotta commit, that's it. Okay, that one was probably way too much angle because I didn't slide that much if at all it just felt like oh you wanted to slide but you know what we're not that slick to where you can just slide from any angle well i had too much weight on my back foot i need to get more weight on my front foot so i can actually hold it but you know second no slide not too bad let's try putting my back foot closer to the the bolts that might have helped might have helped me push or jump more like this i don't know Try it again. Ah, oh, dude, stuck. Oh, that, that felt a lot better. I think it might just need to go faster. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Instead of just getting on there and sticking, which could also be because I'm not going fast enough, I'm gonna just go faster and hope it works out. All right, that might be a little faster. Can't really tell though. Uh, okay, okay, that was a little better. Oh, shit, I missed. So I think the speed's actually helping out a lot. I just gotta get the balls to get in there. There we go, that felt a lot better. So last time it worked out, I focused on staying more centered instead of putting all my weight on my left foot or my front foot, however the f you wanna say it. So I'm gonna start trying doing that and hopefully it works out and a lot better. And I don't know what I'm saying. It's just going and going and going and going and going and going way too slow. So we're going a little faster now. Might work out. Stay centered. Not a big deal. Just do another slide. There we go. That felt all right. I want to be able to do them longer, but that's the thing I'm going to have to work on as I get more comfortable with them. So the goal is heel flip and then no slide down there. And then the last one I want to do is the varial flip and then no slide down there. Yeah. 
Ew, that was terrible. That one felt pretty good. All right, just one more line. Oh, haha. All right, so just a little recap. The biggest thing that helped me relearn the no slide and all that shit was definitely going at the right angle, having enough speed for it to actually work because if there's none of the speed, you're just gonna stick and, and slide. So building up the confidence for that was, was very important. And then also just scooting my front foot more towards the, the, the bolts a little bit like this, like from here to here. It just helped me get my front foot on the nose a little bit easier as well as feel a bit more stable with my feet being a bit closer together. And then lastly, it's just trying to stay centered and not trying to focus on putting all my weight on my front foot because then I would just stick for whatever reason. Maybe I'd see more wax to do that. But that is it for tonight. I am actually gonna continue to skid around for a little bit, try to film a couple more videos, but that's it for this one. I'll see you later. Sign off. Love you.